Good day to everyone. I'm very happy to see you all again here for the lesson today. So today's lesson will be based on Pulse Two, page fifty-three, and the topic for the day will be six amazing predictions for the future. Here are the objectives. As usual, there are three objectives, and the first objective would be to read a magazine article. And definitely, it has something to do with the future. And two, read for just. Right. So you, here we need to identify the important details that is needed for the exercise. And for objective three, well, we need to read for specific information. So let's start now. Before we go for the lesson, or before we start the lesson, here is. Yeah, here is the quiz that I would like to, you know,、um, ask some of you here see whether you can try to figure out what the word would be. So the first word would be. What do you think this word would be? It has something to do with space. Let's try. What do you think? P. Got it. A, C, E. So space. So I guess many of you will be able to guess the word by now. So space craft. Yeah. So let's go to the next one. P, T. So what would this word be? It's pretty simple. Start with an L, A, and the next one. Well, many can guess by now. So it is planet. And the last one would be only four letters. So M and S, and M is a capital M. Simple. This is a planet. What is the name for this planet? A. R. Right. So here we go. We shall start for the lesson now. On page fifty-three, as you can see, the topic on top of the page here: six amazing predictions for the future. So we shall go through this article together. This is the magazine article that.、Uh, Well, we need to read. So let's read together. Will the world be very different twenty years from now? Futurologist Mark Mann gives us his view of life in the future. Now, before we start reading this, I would like to introduce you this man called Mark Mann. Let's take a look here. Now this is Dr. Mark Mann. He has a degree in natural sciences and a PhD in carbon nanotubes and electron emission, and he is,、uh, you know,、uh, holding this job title called principal licensing and ventures manager, and he's working with the Oxford University Innovation as a technology transfer manager. Well, in two thousand fifteen, so. All right. So this is the guy that、uh, you know that we have the six predictions here that we are going to go through together. Let's read now. The first prediction: Many people who are born in two thousand forties will live until they are one hundred and fifty. That's because there will be vaccines for most serious diseases, including cancer. Ooh, all right. Let's go to the second prediction. Cars will drive themselves. Our cars will take us wherever we want to go safely and easily, and we'll be able to relax and enjoy the ride. Hmm. All right. That sounds good to me. Prediction three: Learning a second language. 
won't be necessary. We'll be able to buy tiny computers that fit in our ear and translate what we hear into our own language. All right, that is prediction three, and、uh, well, that sounds interesting to me. Let's go to prediction four. There will be genetically modified crops that are very healthy. For example, sweets will have vitamins in them. We'll also be able to buy square fruit and vegetables that fit in the fridge more easily. Well, I don't know about that, but、uh, sweets having vitamins in them. Well, I bet children love them. And prediction five: people will go on holiday to space. Thousands of us will work in space stations, which will have hotels, restaurants, and sports stadiums. Prediction six: we'll be able to play video games just by thinking. The games will advance will be advanced enough to understand what move we want to make. It will make the move for us. We won't need to touch anything. Who imagine that? So, well, if only I can live up to two thousand forty, perhaps I'll be able to see this come true. Well, we'll see about that later. Yeah. All right. Now let's go to the next exercise. Let's take a look at exercise one. Which predictions are about a travel and transport? B Medicine, C. Entertainment, D. Eating, and E. Education. So let's take a look here. All right, let's take a look at the text. Which predictions? All right, the first question is about travel and transport. So, which one will be? Let's look for the keyword here. About travel and transport. Well, we can't see that in prediction one. So prediction two will be the one. Why I see the word cars here. Yeah. So it is a mean of transport. So cars will be prediction two, and the next one will be. Can you see five here? Prediction five. People will go on holiday to space, so this is about traveling. So the answer for one A will be travel, and will be、uh, for travel and transport will be prediction two and five. Well, I'll write down later for you to see. All right, let's go to the next one. B medicine. So which prediction would it be? Medicine. So it has something to do with. Diseases here, yes. Prediction one, and you can see vaccines, what diseases and cancer. So it has to be something to do with medicine. So for B, answer will be prediction one. C, entertainment. For the question C, entertainment. Well, let's take a look. Something that gives us the fun, you know. Oh,、uh, it will be prediction. Six. What do you think? Yes, video games are there. Where、right? the the phrase video games is there, and it's about you know having fun and it's some kind of entertainment. So for questions one C, prediction six will be the answer. So as for D, eating. Well, eating as you can see something that you can you know、uh, consume. Uh, put into your mouth. Well, it will be something like this:、uh, modified, genetically modified crops, sweets, fruits and vegetables. So these are food, and so it is something to do with eating. So for one D, the answer will be prediction four, and for question one E, education. Which prediction would it be? Well. So far,、uh, what I can see here is prediction three. Why it has something to do with 
learning a second language. So education has something to do with learning. So the keyword is here, learning. All right, so the answer will be prediction three. All right, we shall write down the answer here. Remember, write down the question and the answer. So here, travel and transport, we just write down two and five. As for medicine, it will be prediction one. Entertainment, prediction six. For eating, it will be, it shall be prediction four. And education, prediction three. Right, that's it for exercise one. And as for exercise two, let's take a look here. Exercise two, read the article again and answer the questions about the future. One, what age will people live to? Two, why won't people learn to drive? Three, how will computers help people who can't speak foreign language? Four, how will fruit and vegetables be different? Five, where will people stay on a space station? And six, what won't people have to do when they play video games? All right, now let's look for the answer here. For question one, what age will people live to? Can you see here? live until they are 150 yeah so the answer will be 150 two why won't people learn to drive let's take a look you see it say, states here that cars will drive themselves so this is the answer that's why we don't have to drive cars ourselves so we write down this is because cars will drive themselves So here's the answer. For question three, how will computers help people who can't speak foreign language? Let's take a look. Prediction three. Yeah, so tiny computers that fit in our ear and translate what we hear into our own language. So we shall write the answer like this. We shall say, they okay they refers to computers all right they will translate what we hear into our own language all right let's go to question four how will fruit and vegetables be different well mm, food square fruit and vegetables here so here very simple and very easy they again i write down the word they it refers to fruit and vegetables right they will be square
And five, where will people stay on the space station? As you can see, they have hotels. Yes. So you just write down in a simple manner in hotels. All right. We answer the question straight to the point. And six, what won't people have to do when they play video games? Well, we we won't need to touch anything. Well, everything comes by just thinking. So here, touch anything. So here is the answer. And this is the answers for exercise two. Coming to exercise three, the questions here goes like this. Do you disagree with any of the predictions in the article? Which one and why? Well, you can write more than one which you disagree with. So the examples, one of the uh, example given here, uh, given by the book is like this. It goes like this. I don't, I don't think genetically modified crops will be healthy because they aren't natural. So this is the answer given by the textbook. As for me, I have two predictions which I disagree with. Now here's my arguments. For the first one, I don't think people will live up to 150 because long life depends on a healthy lifestyle, not vaccines. So though vaccines are important these days, but a long life, it still depends on you know how good we actually keep our body to a tip-top condition. It's a healthy lifestyle. Okay, so as for the next one, so the next prediction, I, which I don't agree with, I don't think thousands of people can go on holiday to space as it takes only the ultra rich to experience the journey to space. So, yeah, thousands of people seems impossible to me. And therefore, my argument would be because it's only the filthy rich will be able to experience this kind of, uh, you know, luxurious journey to space. So here's my arguments. If you have other arguments, please write it uh, using your own answers. And you have any comment, please drop me a message at the comment box. All right, let's go to the last part, which is finished. And this is a question that really makes you ponder upon. Yeah. And uh, it really makes me think. The question goes like this. Do you think the future will be better than the present? And the question asks, why not? So here it is. For me, my argument would be this. I personally don't think that the future will be better than the present. Why? Because many people, especially the youngsters, are losing their grip on family values. One of the scenarios that we can see today is that children prefer to have meals in front of the TV rather than, you know, uh, yeah, rather than eating together with their parents. So this is my argument that uh, I can come up with. If you have a better reason, write that down. Yeah, write it down. So here it is uh, for the exercises on page 53. If you have any question or things that you would like to comment, do drop me a message in the comment box. All right, so let's do these exercises now. And uh, you need to do it in your exercise book. All right. So I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Till then, take care.